Hello everyone. Gotta wait for a few more people to hop on before I tell you guys what's going on. Okay, so yeah, I'm in downtown Portland still, obviously. Daytime. Um, you know, great time not getting shot in tear gas right now. So I just wanted to come on. Uh, we came out here to film some things for this production we have coming up. Um, we're collaborating with the national, oh, the NLG. Sorry, I got distracted. Collaborating with the NLG to do a Know Your Rights segment for journalists. So we're coming out here to film this. Here's Buddy. Um, and then we ran into this. Yeah, so as you guys can see, the whole part is blocked off. With this tape. Line. I've heard you're not supposed to cross those. <laughs> And um, we have some guards over here in the middle of the park. Yeah, so I just wanted to get on and show you guys what's going on. I wanted to film like right in there. You can probably uh, get up in the middle. Yeah, okay, let's do that. can still feel and smell the pepper spray and tear gas over here from last night. You guys can tune in our live from last night to the shit ton of tear gas and chemical warfare that was used on American citizens not only last night but for apparently the past 60 something nights out here. And that's just what's happening in Portland. Okay, here we go. We got some signage over here. That says something about item retrieval. I already went to bullshit. I got the paper to prove I was in court. I got the paper. So yeah, that's what's going on in the park along with this. And then we have this side of the park blocked off as well, and more people standing guard. I got someone over here. Don't know what's going on up there.
got some of that. How many sheriffs are there? Like total? Yeah. Uh, we have about 450, uh, 450? Yeah, 40. In Portland? Yeah, well, assigned to the county, Multnomah County. Okay. You know, and so, those are corrections deputies. Uh-huh. They, they, uh, they operate the jail system. And then we've got about 120 or so law enforcement deputies that go all the way from Columbia County to River County. Nice. And are you with the jail? Are you with the the other one? I'm with the law enforcement side. Okay. Which one's cooler? Oh, they're both cool. Why? Depends. What do you want to do for a living? What do you want to do? Why would I do? Yeah. Law uh, enforcement? enforcement? Yeah, and I'm a cabinet. Sure. What's uh what's special about law enforcement to you? Serving my community. Uh huh. It's really an opportunity to, to serve above myself, uh -huh. do things that help others. How do you feel uh, things down here in downtown have been for the community in Portland? Uh, probably disappointing to most in many ways. And it, obviously that depends on your, uh, your perspective and where you come from. I get it. Uh, I can tell you I've been here, I don't know about you, but I've been here since May 29th, the night that they uh, broke into the facility and set it on fire. So uh, other than probably about a total of eight days, I've been here securing this facility. So I'm, I, I think a lot of us are ready for it to be over, to move forward. We're going to step closer. Yeah, that's my line. Move forward and do more productive things. Uh -huh. you know, I think we can all say that, that, that there are some things that we can all be better about. And uh, we are very comfortable with having conversations about this. I don't think any one of us want to get to a, a, a point where we're actually using uh, munitions or, or gas in order to control a crowd. Uh, but when rioting happens, uh, we we have, for their their safety and our safety, those things have to happen. I don't. I I want. I think all of us want healing and to move forward and to have those discussions about reform. Uh, and if we can get to a place where we're not doing this nightly and get to the, the conversations and the table and, and presenting you know, things that we can do. Like, I think you guys remember Obama's uh, 21st century policing that he put together. Uh, many of us have uh, su subscribed to that. Our agencies subscribe to that. We're trying to do things better. And we've got a long way to go. Don't get me wrong. I think all of us can say that. Uh, but we want to get to a place where we're not doing this nightly because this, this isn't constructive, I don't think, for anybody. Uh, for the community, for the people that want to peacefully protest and have a right to protest, which they do, um, and we want to protect that right. That's one of our sworn duties. Um, but when you have people trying to disrupt and hurt and maim, start fires, unfortunately it needs to have to use those kinds of, of uh, tactics and tools in order to control that situation and move beyond it. So hopefully we'll get there. I'm hopeful. I don't know about you. What are you? Are you hopeful? Um, well, I guess so. I've been I've been out here for, for a little while too, about yeah. a couple weeks at this point. Yeah. Um, reporting. So like that's how I got this, and like 
I yeah. got beat up my first night here by yeah. a federal officer who, was, yeah. who ran out of the building um, and attacked a group of press. They were all standing together. Yeah. And uh, while I've been here, it's definitely had um, the same cycle of what you're talking about, but um, maybe I would frame it a bit differently. That especially like from a top-down perspective, government agencies. There's a governor who has demanded feds to leave. Portland mayor has demanded feds to leave. Portland mayor is also the police commissioner. Um, so I was wondering, like, as a police officer, like, who you report to? Is it the police commissioner? Is it the governor? Or yeah. so it, it, it depends on what agency you work for. So it, it, I'll do, I'm not being rude, but I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. I'm with the sheriff's office, right? So I report to the, the elected sheriff. Okay. So you know Sheriff Mike Reese? No. He's the Multnomah County Sheriff. Okay. So I, I that's who I report to, and then and then I, ultimately as a county employee, yeah. I, I report to our county chair, okay. who's are also elected official. So is, is that under the, the governor or who? Yeah. Well, I mean that's you're talking about local county, you know, uh, government, right? Uh, local buddy. county government who also yes, ultimately everybody. Reports to the okay. And when I'm certified as a state police officer, we all go to the state academy, and then and then we go to work for other you know, agencies. I get a state certification, so the governor is responsible for those, um, you know, uh, accountability systems with our the Department of Public Safety and Standards, and, and making sure that we fall, you know, do you know, stay within all those guidelines and get the appropriate training and everything else. So yeah, I mean, the, the entire system reports to. Many levels, and many, you know, all the way up to the governor, absolutely. All the way up to the governor. And so then, like, uh, when it comes to, you know, the governor and the mayor and, like, those Oregon officials saying we don't want the feds here, the feds need to leave, we're demanding the feds to leave, making statements that the feds are going to leave by a certain day, kind of hoping that they would, but then, like, that didn't happen. Like, I think they said they're going to leave today, um, or at least Thursday, is Thursday today. So, with that all happening, I, I heard what you were saying about um, we don't want this to be happening every night. We don't want this to be like getting to the level of of what is that, which is violence every night. Um, we don't want to have to be using these munitions, things like that. Uh, when it comes to how it's being framed by leadership in Oregon, they're really saying that the feds are escalating things. The feds are coming out here and kind of bringing bringing the violence out into the streets, which then escalates and, and contributes to that cycle. So what would you say to, to that issue that has been called out on a governor level, on a, on a mayor level? Um, I'm sure other officers have talked about it too, but what do you make of that? What do you make of that? Like, I think it's issue? appropriate to discuss, uh, you know, what what tactics we use. Uh, I think it's appropriate to understand that, as you guys probably have experienced it, that there's a progression, a learning process, and we can all be better. Um, and I think that's where we're heading. Um, you know, I, again, it's going to be your perspective on whether you, you feel the way that you just described about the feds escalating or other people that may not feel that I was way. just quoting the governor yeah, and, and the mayor. And, I, and I'm, I'm, what, I'm, what I guess I'm getting at is, is I think what, what's important for us as law enforcement professionals is to be open-minded and to be able to hear. Uh, and, to, and we have leaders uh, at you know, all, the, all the levels, including the, the governor. And I think they have a, a good idea of where we need to go to next in order to bring about healing, to bring about change. Uh, and open up to ideas like uh, police reform. So I, you know, I, I don't really focus on what, we, what has happened now, you know, in the past, because I've been here, like I told you, for 62 nights or whatever it is now, from the very beginning. We had a, we had the same scenario where we had a fence, if you remember, or you hear about that, where we had a fence, and, and, and the fence came over here. And so I think everybody's learned and will be better from it. Rather than look back and worry about those kind of issues, it's, it's more about them going forward. Do you feel like, uh, I still feel like a little strained between like what I was quoting from the mayor and the governor and like kind of where you're at a little bit? I no, like, I don't, do we feel, don't get into the politics. So I, 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 here's my job. My job is to make sure that this uh, facility operates daily, right? And because this facility, and as well as that facility, are the people's facility. Right? What that means is it has to be operational. So in a, let me give you an example. If you're a, a woman who has been subjected to abuse and domestic violence, as an example, and you need a restraining order against an abusive person, right? We need to protect you from that person. 
That's where they have to go to get that. Right here. Okay, or the courthouse. Or the courthouse, right? So this is this is where justice happens. Yeah. Right out here, this is where justice happens. I definitely understand so that these are just the, have a job to do. Yeah, I definitely understand sure that these are the instructional structures, and, and yeah. I, I understand that. Okay. Um, that's not what I was asking about. I was asking more like, as as someone who is heavily involved in law enforcement here and who has seen 60 plus days of what's going yeah. on, and now there's like these calls from like leadership. Do you feel that what what the police department or the sheriff's department needs is being represented on that level of the yeah. demands that are being made yeah. by the I, governor. I, I, by our, the... our elected official sheriff, uh, again, is actively involved in those conversations and making sure he represent, represents the people of Multi County, and for that matter, the state of Oregon. And he's doing a great job. And I think that he is part of that process with the governor, uh, as well as the fed, federal uh, agencies uh, and Oregon State Police now, because we know that that's what's going on now and I think that everybody's going in the right direction. So I'm, I'm very supportive of our, elect, our leaders, all elected leaders, appointed leaders, they're all doing a good job. Okay guys, we're gonna tune off until a little bit later, but we'll be back. <laughs> 